Greetings fellow Arkansmiths, this is James Smith with Knights of the Smith Dinner Table coming at you with a quick, short episode of my tips and tricks. Today is the 8th of June and last night there was a small flurry of updates. So I'm going to cover those real quick, plus I'm going to cover something that I forgot to cover in the last video for the notes. Now this is all going to be about the notes and we'll just hop right in. So if we come in here into our notes, a couple of things you're going to notice it's changed over the night. One, we've got subcategories now and you'll notice the UI has changed a bit. He's moved the manage presets and add node elements up to the top here so that way they're a little more visible. Up here we've got all of these um, including the new note, new category, and new subcategory and the subcategories work underneath your categories and I'll, I'll show you how that works here in just a second. Side quests and assign are still the same however it is important to note that <clears throat> when you're creating a new note and for this instance, I'm just gonna create one for the campaign I'm currently working on. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, that's not the right name, but I'll just put that for now. Sorry about that. Um, we still got all the note types. This is gonna be a detailed quest. We're gonna go down here to create. Now, what I want you to notice is, is we did not pick a category for it when we created it. It now automatically places it in unassigned. Once it's there, you can grab it and then drag it to the category you want it in. In this case, I want it under the Snows of Summer Chapter 1 and Part 1 in Early Frost. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, throat's all kind of buggered up. Um, other things that you can do now, you can still delete, which that's per normal. For your subcategories and your categories, you can delete and rename them. Now. That's really nice because before if you created a category that if you didn't like the name of it, you were kind of stuck with it, but now we can change it. Something else you can do is, and this is something that hopefully will be fixed soon, is you can move these categories around as well as the subcategories. However, if I take Snows of Summer, drag it down here, all of my notes underneath it are gone. So right now, the notes don't follow the subcategory or the, the subcategories don't follow the categories. So hopefully that'll be fixed soon. Um, we've made Nathan aware of it in the test stream. And hopefully everybody can find these things to be really useful. Now, the thing that I forgot to cover last time was adding a link, how to create links. Creating links is something that's gonna be really awesome. And I'm gonna come here to my decorated trees. Now, as you can see right here, let's go back and let's open up the scenario so you guys can actually see what it looks like in game when you're running it. <clears throat> they appear here, the links appear like this. When you click on the link, in this case it's a link for a map, it's going to ask you if you want to load the map, and then it will load the map when you click yes. Really super nice because as we go down, you come down here, this is a link to the next area, which advances us into the next quest, and we can load the map. Voila! Really nice to have. You don't have to open up your favorites or anything like that. You can just do it right from your quest. Now to create those, it's actually pretty easy. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna go back into the encyclopedia. Um, whoops, Let's see, is there one that I missed? There it is. Okay, so to create a link, I'm gonna put this down here in the closing text. You start with a bracket, left bracket. Then you start typing. So say I wanted this to move on to h.0. And if you look right up here, after I get three characters in, it brings up a hyperlink. Click on that and it finishes it. Then I can do the same thing. Bring that up, start typing the first three letters of the map, which it already brought it up and sent high Sentinel Lodge. And then you just click outside of the area and it's saved. Really easy to create links. I mean, this is so easy. Even a fireman like me can do it, but that's the short of it. Um, just, it's a really quick update. I'm only going to call this like a, an 11.5 episode. This isn't worth, this wasn't worth a full episode, but I just wanted to get that out there since there were such major changes last night. Hopefully everybody's having a good time making their stuff and getting all this stuff in here. As you can see, I've been busy at putting the uh, Reign of Winter campaign into Arkham Forge, so I don't have to look to the right at my books. All I have to do is alt tab right into the uh, combat manager that I use. 
If you got any questions or anything, feel free to post them in the links below. Once again, like, subscribe, and if you want to get automatic notifications, click on that bell on my channel and it'll automatically notify you every time I upload a new video or start a live stream. Other than that, as DM Robo would say, keep on forging and we'll see you guys around.